vlog! We are from the BS Ed 1C Group 3 and today we are going to feature the Geometric Symphony unveiling the artistry of the St. Paul the Apostle Parish Church, Cabagan. Today we're in the pictures cute town of Cabagan standing in front of the magnificent St. Paul the Apostle Parish Church. And we're thrilled to take you on an extraordinary journey as we explore every intricate detail that creates this sacred space and reaching the local culture and arts. As we enter to the doors of St. Paul Church, let's take a moment to appreciate the grandeur of its exterior. The geometric designs on the facade are like visual overture, setting the stage for the artistic marvels that awaits us inside. Join us as we embark on a detailed exploration of every look and cranny of St. Paul the Apostle Paris Church. From the carefully crafted patterns to the entrance arch to asymmetrical precisions of a window, well, unravel the geometric tapestry that breathes life into their cultural masterpiece. The church itself looks fairly modern with a red brick facade. However, its size, shape, and structure hint at its original Spanish ear structure, said to have been built in the 1800s, around the time the mother town of Cabagan was named San Pablo de Guerrero. The facade, with its friezes and moldings in the shape of angels, pediment, and arched windows, is also characteristic of Spanish colonial churches. In the middle, in front of is a central niche which shelters a life-size statue of Christ on the cross while above it, on a pediment, is a small dove in a bas-relief enclosed in a circular molding, the symbol of the Holy Spirit which descended on Saul, prompting his conversion into St. Paul the Apostle. The retablo behind the main altar features three niches with the crucifix at the center flanked by statues of the Blessed Virgin Mary and St. Paul the Apostle. Inside, one will also find life-size statues of saints, including the Blessed Virgin Mary and Christ carrying the cross. St. Paul the Apostle Parish Church can be found right in front of the city plaza next to the convent and parochial school with the same name. Upon entering the church complex, visitors are greeted by a life-size statue of St. Paul said to have been bought and set in place in 1860. As we move deeper into the church, let's delve into the symbolic significance of geometric element. These designs aren't just aesthetically pleasing, they carry profound meanings that connect the community to its spiritual roots and cultural heritage. Our journey continues into the heart of the church where we will marvel the architectural precision of geometric designs. The arcs, Pillars and ceilings reveal a symphony of shapes and designs showcasing the craftsmanship in creating this work of art. Beyond the stones and mortar, St. Paul's Church serves as a cultural hub that connects the people of Cabagan. As we conclude our immersive journey through St. Paul the Apostle Paris Church, it's evident that every detail of geometric designs contributes to the cultural and artistic richness of Cabagan. Thank you for joining us in this celebration of Geometric Artistic. Remember, the beauty is not just in the grandeur but in the detail that makes our cultural heritage truly extraordinary. Till our next adventure, happy exploring! Explorers, today we are here in the historic town of Tumawini, standing in front of the awe inspiring San Matthias Parish Church, featuring crafting heritage, unveiling the materials and geometry of San Matthias Parish Church Tumawini. And we are thrilled to take you on a journey where we'll not only explore the geometric designs but also dive in the detailed materials used in the construction of this cultural gem, enriching the local culture and arts. Before we step inside, let's take a moment to admire the beautiful exterior of San Matthias Paris Church. The intricate geometric design of the facade gives us a glimpse of the artistic marvels awaiting us within. Join me as we delve into the materials that form the backbone of St. Matthias Church, from the durable stone that laid the foundation to the finely crafted wood 
and metals that, that adorn the structure. We will explore how these materials were chosen to withstand the test of time. As we step inside, let's embark on the detailed exploration of the geometric design that grace every corner of San Matias Church. We'll scrutinize the intricacies of the patterns, understanding how each shape and line contributes to the cultural and artistic richness of Tumawini. As I approach the church, I immediately notice the cylindrical bell tower painted with white color and the contrasting church facade made of red bricks. The bell tower is actually similar to a wedding cake because of the tire leak it has. The whole bell tower looks like it has been ringed with beads and laces. All are perfectly aligned and perfectly placed. To access the bell tower, one has to climb up the circular stairway made up of iron and then pass through a narrow concrete bridge that connects the church to the bell tower. There is a circular staircase inside which leads to a bridge connecting the church and the belfry. As for the inside, it is as astonishing on the outside as it is on the inside. The age look of the walls, the dark wooden cues, the precise construction of the floor, and the overall atmosphere it exudes. Beyond their physical attributes, the materials used in San Mateo's church carry symbolic significance. Join me as we uncover the stories behind the stones, the meaning of the woodwork, and the cultural context that elevates these materials to more than just building blocks. San Mateo's church stands not just a physical structures, but a testament to the identity and unity of the Tumawini community. The choice of materials and geometric designs become a shared legacy that binds generations together. Grab your virtual microscope as we zoom into the microscopic details of the materials and geometric designs. Every grain of stone and every intricate carving has a story to tell and is through this close examination that we truly appreciate the craftsmanship. As we conclude our exploration on San Mateo's Paris Church, it is clear that the materials and geometric designs create a masterpiece that enriches culture and arts. Thank you for joining us in this celebration of craftsmanship and culture. Remember, every stone, every line, and every material contributes to the grand story of our heritage. Until our next adventure, happy exploring! As we Paul Apostle Charles and Paris But I've been carefully crafted. I I am too Detailed and exploration. To the identity and unity of the Tumawini.